Hello, so this is a video about the top seven biggest insects in the world and it's been requested quite a few times so here it is. When I say big insects I don't mean, oh look that cockroach is abnormally proportioned, I mean big insects. The sort of insect that's going to be working for Donald Trump's administration if he gets elected president. Bit of political humour there? You're welcome. Anyway, with this list, it was difficult to decide what biggest actually meant. You know, was it length, mass? But I've tried to include what I feel are the biggest insects in the world. Coral pearl. Starting off the list at number seven is the Atlas moth. It's found in Southeast Asia and can have a wingspan of 30 centimeters, which is nearly 12 inches or one foot. I think the first Atlas moth ever discovered was shot down with a shotgun, which is just crazy. <laughs> the Atlas moth's cocoon has been used commercially as a purse in Taiwan, and in India it's used for its silk because apparently it's incredibly durable. I actually used to have one of these as a a pet, uh, but it died in my arms, unfortunately. Uh, I try to say, you know, don't go into the light. Uh, but it's a moth. Coming in at number six is the giant wetter, which can weigh up to about 70 grams, which is like the size of a sparrow, bigger than a sparrow. It's found in New Zealand, which is where I live, um, although it's predominantly found in the offshore islands, which is a fantastic, um, you know, example of island gigantism. Compared to other wetters, they're usually quite passive, uh, and the reason they're on this list is because they're just massive, they're just really heavy. They're one of the heaviest documented insects in the world and I haven't actually got a joke about this one because I'm just kind of proud that something from New Zealand's on the list, so. The giant burrowing cockroach is number five and is found only in Australia. And you might be looking at it and thinking, ah, 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 but they're kind of good for the environment because they recycle lots of stuff, you know, good guy cockroach. They can reach eight centimeters in length and about 40 grams in weight, which for a cockroach is fat, man. As you probably guessed, they are the largest cockroaches in the world, and if you wanted to check that, if you wanted to Google it, please don't forget to write roaches at the end or else you're going to be looking at something very different. Number four is the giant stick insect, which I think is found worldwide. It can reach lengths of 57 centimetres, which is longer than a human baby, and it's called a giant stick insect because it looks like a stick. Not the most imaginative name, really, is it? That's the kind of name you give something on a Friday afternoon when you want to get home. What's the, what should we call this? Oh, it looks like a, we'll call it a stick, a stick insect. Fantastic, and what about, what about this one? What's it doing? Oh, it's, it's flying, we'll call it a fly, let's go. An interesting fact about giant stick insects is that they are boring as fuck. And now we're on number three, which is the elephant beetle. The elephant beetle lives for about three months and lives in South America and Australia. The males have impressive horns, which are predominantly used for showing off to the lady beetles who don't have any horns. A cool fact about this beetle is that electrodes have been successfully implanted into larvae so that the military can actually control the flying capabilities of this beetle via remote control, which I just thought was awesome. Another beetle is number two, John Lennon, no. It's the Titan beetle, and look at it. Look at it, it's just in that kid's hand. That's, am that's beautiful, that's amazing. It's the second largest known beetle, but only because the Hercules beetle has a huge hole which makes up like half its size, so it's nothing but a filthy fraud. Titan beetle can grow to about 17 centimeters in length and are found in South America, but the larvae have never been found like Leonardo DiCaprio's Oscar. It's thought that they spend several years inside wood before becoming adult, at which point they stop eating and try and find a mate, which is which is just kind of obsessive. You know, it's a bit shallow. But it's just constantly thinking about sex. Think about food a little bit, just a little bit. A fun little fact about this beetle is that it can snap a pencil, which is quite cool. And finally, at number one, we have the giant long-legged cat he did, which just reminds me of the at from Star Wars. It just look at it, it just, it's, it's uncanny how, how alike they look. I'm not entirely sure of the exact measurements of this insect, although I know it's considered to be the largest in the world. They stay pretty much completely still during the day, camouflaged as a leaf, and then during the night, they party, baby. They find a mate, they eat food, they dance. That's what they do. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is my Snapchat, my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook links are down below. Also, I did make a video about insect stings. Uh, you can click the link just there, and it's, it's there. So if you wanted to watch it, go hard. It's a similar sort of video, so I thought I'd link the two. Thank you. Goodbye.